Hello and welcome to Inside Scoop. I'm Simi Das. Joining me is Seth Rosenblatt, senior writer for CNET. Seth, thanks for being with us. Thank you, Simi. So you have an appointment with Google tomorrow, mm -hmm. um, as do a few other people. I, I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> um, what do you expect to see? What's the rumor? So the, right now, rumors are uh, thin. Uh, we know that the event is going to be hosted by uh, Sundar Pichai, who is in charge of not just Chrome anymore, not just apps, but also Android, following Andy Rubin. Okay, so, so that gives us some clues as to absolutely, the categories absolutely. of devices. Yeah, we know it's not going to be a car, but uh, <laughs> we're, we're, we think it's going to be something related to Chrome OS. Could be a new Chromebook. Uh, they launched uh, a new Chromebook, the $250 one, last year at this time. Right. Uh, so we could get a new Chromebook. It could be a Chrome OS tablet. We know that they've been working on getting touch features into Chrome OS, so that's something. Uh, we're probably going to see Android 4.3, and uh, we don't think we're going to see any Android phones. They're doing the big Moto X reveal next week on August 1st, right. so a new phone would seem to be a little uh, odd in terms of timing. Okay, so next week mm -hmm. you mentioned there is this big announcement yes. for the uh, Motorola phones. What, yes. what is that going to be? Do, what do we know about that so far? Because it seems like people are usually more interested in phones than they are in other devices. Yeah, well with uh, the Moto X, it's uh, Motorola, Motorola Mobility's big new uh, uh, push. They've been sort of... Uh, off the vine for quite a while. They they, have, we have not heard from Motorola for, mo for a while. No, they really ceded, uh, ceded the, the Android lead to Samsung. Uh, and Google's purchase of the company you know, of $12 billion hasn't really produced much. Um, so this is their big chance to show that they are still in the game. Uh, we know that the phone is going to be customizable a little bit in the hardware as well as in uh, the operating system. It's going to be a pure version of Android. Hardware too? Mm -hmm. well, and so what, what, what do we think that might look like? For now we think it's going to be customizable backs. We've seen a couple of those mocked up. Um, beyond that, we don't really know. Do we know anything else about the Moto X? Any clues about what we might see next week? Mm. The rumor mill has it going that uh, it's going to have a dual-core Qualcomm S4 processor, 16 gigs of onboard storage, 4.5-inch screen. But these are all rumors. We don't actually have any facts at this point. Okay. And as far as the event tomorrow, mm -hmm. there are some uh, rumblings about Chrome and Android, greater integration in that Absolutely. arena. Absolutely. Because of, of Sundar's role in charge of both divisions, we could see the beginnings of uh, Chrome and Android integration tomorrow. It's a possibility. Don't know how likely it is. Um, another thing that we could see as well is the launch of the second Nexus 7 tablet. It's the been very a, almost. It's been over a year since the last. Uh, tablet, yes, yeah? it, the, the, the first uh, the, tablet. The first, the first Nexus 7 launched at uh, Google, Google, Google I/O 2012. Mm -hmm. And uh, again, with this, you know, it was the first sort of super successful Android tablet. It sort of created the seven inch uh, form factor space for tablets. Mm -hmm. um, I've been using it. I think it's a great tablet. So uh, I think a lot of people are going to be curious to see if it comes, what kind of hardware it has, what form it takes. All right, Seth, thanks so much. Now, you are going to be keeping a close eye on this for us, right? Yes, absolutely. Uh, tomorrow morning, 8.30 a.m. Pacific, I'll be live blogging with my CNET colleagues. And I will be tuning in. Right. For Inside Scoop, I'm Sumi Das. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.